Okay, hello everyone. Um, welcome to the next in the Excel series. Today I want to show you how to use the FRED add-in into Excel to draw uh, data directly from FRED into your spreadsheet. Uh, this is the final output of today's. This is where we're going today. This is the data series. It is the employment series. I just picked one that is interesting uh, and an associated graph. All right, now where where does this come from? All right, first of all, what is FRED? Let me show you here. FRED is the Federal Reserve Economic Database. To get there, uh, I simply look for it in Google, and up it comes. Nope, not that one. Uh, well, anyway, it's here. This is the FRED Economic Research, FRED Economic Database, Federal Reserve Economic Database, and. Uh, the data we want is in here and uh, it is simply uh, a matter of inputting the correct uh, search terms here are 109 series that match those those terms you can actually filter with the um, tags on the left but uh, as it turns out I've seen this before and it comes up uh, in the screen this is the one we want it's monthly seasonally adjusted uh, in levels and so here uh, I'll shorten this presentation this is the data series that we want you can simply download it into a, by a CSV file by going up here it's in download and then once you have a CSV file open you can then uh, proceed to do the analysis all right what is where does the add-in come from again uh, you can probably find it in here somewhere I, I, I never can find it in uh, as easily as simply going to Excel and say add in for Fred and here it is all right so this is the add-in uh, the page you select here 213 agree to the terms of conditions download now and save it to uh, uh, and up comes the usual download procedures in Excel uh, where to save this all right if you do nothing it will uh, end up in the Microsoft Excel default uh, for add-ins what I do is I created a file in in my um, Dropbox that I call uh, add-ins and I save it here and the cool thing about this is that you know, whenever I open the laptop it picks up from Dropbox or if I'm using my desktop at home it picks up uh, Fred uh, from uh, from here once and for all in other words uh, it needs to be accessible all right uh, let me show you uh, how to load Fred and add-in uh, again, I went to File, uh, Options. Uh, in Options, there is an Add-ins section. Uh, in here, then, uh, I already have it, as you can see. But let's say what you would do, you would go to Go. Uh, and this is the list of add-ins I have. You would go to Browse. Then you find the your file that you created and you pick it up here double click and it opens I'm not going to do that because I already have it so uh, that's it will pop up up here as not under the add-ins tab with the regular add-ins tab but it creates its own tab because it has quite a bit of functionality all right all right once we have this here uh, we can actually conduct the same search we did for when we were on the Fred web page let's say in New Haven and uh, let me just show you that I could have just said employment and then massive amounts of series comes up that follow that fit under that tag we can filter here let's see the frequency for example monthly uh, we have the geography here we have from New Haven uh, geography type let's say seasonal adjustment we want seasonal adjusted data and lo and behold it's right here at the top you select that and uh, uh, press series ID and up on the left hand corner you'll see that it gave you the uh, the code the ID code uh, for that series right uh, we get out of here uh, with that ID code if you knew it to begin with uh, you simply have to put it up there and it will download it for you 
By the way, you can do, uh, I've done as many as 10 series at one time. It'll bring them all down uh, and put all of them. Uh, all right, let's go back to Fred. I'll show you. It's in follow now. It simply says get Fred data. And here it is, get Fred data. All right. One other nice feature is you can actually uh, change this. There's quite a bit of functionality for changing the, uh, the uh, type of data. But what I want to do here is shorten this a little bit uh, for purposes of today. Let me just start at January 2010. And uh, once I do that, Fred will allow you to update the data right here and just keep you can see now 2010 is where we're starting all right with the data in here you're free to proceed uh, to use it as you would any other data series and here we're going to show you this really please really cool uh, feature that it has and it says you can build a graph of the series you could build a graph of many series as you would in Excel uh, and it builds a graph for you uh, again, uh, this you could do a, a little better in presentation if you took away some of this empty space right here. You select the Y axis, do a right click on your mouse, it says Format Axis. And we're going to put this at, uh, I don't know, 262. It will shrink the space, maximize the signal and the noise to signal ratio, and Lo and behold, this is where we are with, um, uh, this is where we'll end up. Again, thank you. I'll uh, see you in the next series.